Hello everyone, let me introduce you to Bert. Bert is one of many species of pollinators. Unfortunately, Bert has nowhere to live because climate change has left him homeless. And that's not all. Bert also has very few friends left because his species is dying. But before we go into the depressing part of this video, let me explain what Bert does as a pollinator. Pollinators, like Bert, feed on the nectar of plants. They go from flower to flower to feed. Whilst Bert is feeding, the pollen of the flower sticks to his body. When Bert moves to another flower, the pollen will be released and the flower will be fertilised. The fertilisation process is necessary for the growth of fruits and reproduction of plants. Bert is not the only pollinator species that exists. Hummingbirds, wasps, moths, bats, beetles, flies, lacewings and butterflies are also pollinators and so contribute to the fertilisation of flowers. So, do you remember what we said at the beginning of the video? Pollinator species are dying, but how? Well, climate change is a big problem for pollinators. It has led to increased bouts of extreme weather. Heat waves can lead to prolonged drought, which kill off the plants on which the pollinators rely on for life. Those droughts also kill off insect larvae that rely on the plant's survival to pupate. The change in weather also leads to warmer and wetter winters, which makes the flower bloom during the colder months while the pollinators are hibernating and restricts the bee's access to food during the warmer months. This also means that they can't pollinate as many plants as that they normally would. And this is not the only problem. Urbanization, light pollution, fires are perturbating their habitats, leading to a competition between them. Invasive species also, such as the Asian horn or ants and rats, and the use of insecticides and herbicides are direct causes of death for pollinators. Now you're thinking, why should I care? This does not affect me, right? Well, it does. If bird dies, the plants will not be fertilized by the pollen and your fruit and vegetables will not grow. And as plants form the basis of all food chains, you will have nothing to eat on your plate. Problematic, isn't it? The good news is that you can help birds to stay alive to prevent all of this. For example, you can grow wildflowers in your own garden. They're not only beautiful, but they will provide food for birds, which makes them happy. To make it even more efficient, cut the grass less often and do not use any pesticides to help you. The most wonderful thing is that even if you do not have a garden, you can help. You can try, for example, to reduce your own carbon footprint by eating less meat or lower the heating with a few degrees. And why not revise your means of transport, by preferring walking and cycling to driving? And if you're really into bees, you can create a bee hotel and place it in your garden to provide bird with a place to sleep in. So how do you build a bee hotel? Well, here's five easy steps to do so. Step one, cut the plank into four to make a rectangular frame and that the stems will st sit inside. Step two, drill guide holes for the screws and assemble the frame. Step three, snip your stems into lengths to fit the frame. To discard any bent or knobbly ones, it's a good idea to include some really big stems, even though they're not used to the bees. They speed up the assembly stage, look attractive, and will help shelter lacewings and ladybugs over winter. Step 4. Lay your frame on a tilted surface and carefully pack it with stems. Only as you add the final few does the whole thing look solid. Step 5. Finally add a backing board to the bee hotel. Start making changes to your garden or your life and help us so that Bert can be happy.